1596 on a day. I'm sorry about my voice. I'm having trouble breathing. Um, I'm on a medicine called prednisone. Prednisone, it's a miracle drug, but it ruins your body. Uh, the side effects suck. Um, thank you, Madam Chairman and members of council. Uh, you have some tough decisions to make. And I appreciate what you've done so far. How many of you saw Heath Ledger when he was in uh, the um, Batman movie as the Joker? He had white paint on his face and he looked pretty horrible. It was in the dark night. I mean, he, he, he looked terrible. Uh, back when President Obama was being inaugurated, I was having trouble breathing. I mean, really having trouble breathing. This is nothing compared to what it was. I come by it honestly. My, both my parents uh, have asthma, had asthma, and my dad had asthma and COPD. And of course, my siblings all inherited this crap. And I do mean crap. Asthma sucks. The problem with asthma is you can get the air in. You can't get the air out. Um, healthy, I'm pretty healthy. Other than that, I have allergies, but you know, many of us have allergies in this particular climate. Um, I'm not a smoker, I never have been, and I'm allergic to a plethora of things. According to my wife, this is what I look like, you know, when President Obama was being inaugurated. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's, it really is, uh, it's uh, terrible, sorry. That's what I look like. <laughs> and this is not for me. I didn't look at myself in the mirror. This is what she said. And she said, you're going to the hospital. You're going to the emergency room. I wouldn't have made it if I had to go to Fairview Hospital. And I wouldn't be here today talking to you. There was no time for the rescue squad. I had to get there immediately. And Dr. Kilroy, although he wasn't my doctor at the time, could attest to the effect the fact that you can die from that. DL drove me to the closest emergency room, which happened to be Lakewood, which is a block away. And uh, I'm grateful for that. I was admitted and released four days later. Got to watch the inauguration on TV in the, in the hospital room. I want to also talk to you about some twins that, that were born here in Lakewood. They were born prematurely. They're 11 now, but they've been taken to uh, Lakewood's emergency room and their lives have been saved because of Lakewood's emergency room. They've also been admitted to the hospital because it was a full service hospital. It's, it's not easy uh, when, you're, when you're trying to save a life. It's not easy for any of you if you ever have to go through that. One, one of the twins was, um, was so purple, she, her mom rushed her over to the hospital again. She lives just a block away from Lakewood Hospital. We could talk about statistics, and I'm so glad that some of you brought about how important it is to have competition. I know that um, uh, Councilwoman Marks brought that up, and I'm so glad that uh, David Anderson brought up about the possibility of amended disagreement, because there's, there's, there's things in here that are not really very good. We could talk about the loss of jobs and the tax base, but really, it doesn't really mean that much. But the non-compete clause is a pretty is a pretty serious thing, and I hope you consider that. But it really isn't about that. It's about lives, and that's what matters, right? Right. I'm not seeing any heads shake, and that's sad. Please, in your wisdom, reject this deal. At least it amend this deal, but it reject it as it's currently stand. It's not good for us and it's not good for our city. It's really about saving lives in this community. Please do the right thing. Thank you very much.